Got so much salt spray on the front windows you probably can't hardly see anything. I'll have to get the hose out with the window washer attachment. We have to do that after every big blow like this to wash the salt off. Nasty day. Well, the rain has stopped. I'm loading my truck up. Oh, I was loading my truck up at a farmer's market. Then I had a restaurant call me and said, come by and pick my knives up. I need to get them sharpened for tomorrow. It's about 10, uh, 10 15 right now. I'm going to pick them up. They're only like 12 minutes away. And I'll finish loading my truck up when I get back. I'm trying to get in a spin for the afternoon low tide is what I'm trying to do. I got to go by the bank and get some change for the farmer's market tomorrow. Got a few little errands to run, you know. I got it nice. I was expecting like six or eight. I got eight or ten in one bucket. Then a bag full of knives, uh, some chef's bag, you know, a fold up zip, what do you call that stuff? Velcro bag. I don't know what's in it. Stand by. I'm heading to the bank now to get some change. The sun is out. I like that. I hope it stays out, but it looks terrible. Just out there on the bird feed, right? Oh, here they are. This is the ones that was in the tub. And the bag has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in it. A good day to start Friday morning. Well, I'm not going to the oak tree today. I'm going right out front here. I'm late on time, so the tide's going to be kind of critical. But it should be okay. I got the knife sharpened and got them all delivered about an hour ago, uh, 45 minutes ago. And I had a restaurant, new restaurant call me, want me to sharpen their knives. So I might pick them up late this afternoon and sharpen them at the farmer's market tomorrow and take them back to them. Or either pick them up after the hello pick them up after the farmer's market and sharpen them and take them good god look at this cut here i like i like it already it looks perfect yes sir bob and candy cut goes all the way down just like that you couldn't draw that on paper be any better right now good googa booga Let's see if there's anything floating around in there. Might be. We got an outer bar. We got to cut all the way down the middle. Look at that cloud there. I don't know if I'll get much time in today or not. We got an 18 here. As you can see it's jumpy. I don't expect it much here, probably ball cap. But you got, like I said, you got to start someplace in life. Did you get one? Oh, it's really jumpy now. Stand by. Look at that, a deep gray matter, first target. And there ain't supposed to be gray matter here. Fishing sinker. What? 25. A penny. I dug another gray matter. I got two gray matters. I ain't been 10 feet.
This is a 23. Sounds a mite irony now to. No, it's another penny. I think it's a pocket knife. I'm pretty sure it's a pocket knife. The gray matter man. That's the gray matter man. Yes, sir. Live and living color. Let's go see how he's making out. What are you doing here, Great Matter Man? Where you put in that oak tree? You put it in that oak tree? Yeah, yeah. I was going to turn around back here, but then I saw, I said, that's got to be Max out there right out in front of the house. Yeah, I just came out right there. Yeah. I got a four or five sinkers. I got five or six pennies and a silver ring, I think. I got a silver ring, too. Mine ain't very pretty, though. Mine is rough looking, if it's silver at all. Oh yeah, okay. Platinum. Oh yeah. BT nine fifty. I trade you. Just trade. <laughs> God damn it, weighs five hundred pounds. Uh, that ain't silver by no means. It weighs two pounds. Platinum. The bumble. I mean, the gray matter man is on a spin. I think. Yes, sir. Reed. That's a nice tequila. That's a nice tequila of the got, summer right there. I got another one. I don't even know if that's a ring. Yeah. What'd you get? And then I got, I got a silver dime. You want to trade? No. I'll, I'll keep this. If this was going to fit on Judy's finger, she's going to take it from me. There you go. My other two platinums were, they were shiny like this. They were kind of dullish gray. But that's they were okay. pure platinum. But this is a PT950 and it's got some other writing in it too. Yeah, that's nice. You can tell by the weight what that is. <laughs> there's, a, hey, there's a lot more targets. I got that ring in this slough, but back there probably... Well, the tide's coming in now. The bar's getting wet, you see. It's, it's rolling over top of the bar, filling this little slough up a little bit. That's what happens. <coughs>
off the alarm. 24, screechy 24. Oh, a dime. That's the first dime on a day. That's a nice seven. Seven. Number two dime, two dimes in one day. Isn't that something? Well, the waves are rolling in good over that bar now. It's about a foot deeper. I'm right at Pecker Deep. Well, it was knee deep. There goes the police. We got 11. Oh, I think it's up big now. I can feel it. Lots of what's it today. Great big ones, medium sized ones. We got a lot of cracking to do when we get home. A five and a six. I see nothing. Look like another crapper. Something else a crack. Another, another what's it? <laughs> Ice cream truck. Tide's getting high now, I'm going to have to go in. Fourteen. Oh, my first one today, the first one. The first camp of the day. Well, I got the what's up here. Got seven wetsits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now this one, I'm guessing it's a spoon inside there. You can see at the edges of it. Nothing, the other one you can't tell anything. I think this is just really crap here. I don't know what this is, nor this one, but they sounded good. This one's heavy. Might be a gray matter stuck in there or something. Well, that is some kind of lead thing. It's heavy, really heavy. That's half a spoon, I think. The other two didn't have anything. This one, this was the second biggest one. And I don't know what it is. Junk. Okay, we got the what's that's out of the way. Looks like Chris has brought me a present.
or somebody dropped off a present. Brand new fist cars. Not brand new, of course, but you know what I mean. Good shape. Okay. Now I have an off the wall question for you guys. I have something in our yard. It's going to be hard to see. It's, it's holes. It looks like somebody has been in here and run an aerator all through the yard. Holes about a half inch wide. I don't know how deep they go. I'm trying to find a bunch of them for you so you can make, maybe see them better. There, it look, like I said, it looks just like somebody run an aerator through our driveway, I mean through our yard, and they're everywhere, in places. Anybody got an idea what that is? Look at them. These are like three inches apart. Well, here's the knives I picked up at the last restaurant at 7.30 tonight. Four serrated. No, five, six serrated, I'm sorry. And five chef's knives. One, two, three, five chef's knives. That's a good little pickup. Take them to the farmer's market with me tomorrow. Somebody gave me the mumbles today. I went in at the entrance of my where I live, you know, that little walkway right there, and I went about 150 yards both ways. So I didn't get much territory covered, but there was a few targets around. I think that's a silver ring. Looks like it wants to clean up. It's in bad shape. I got a nice little bell. Some baby gray matter. A flock of damn pennies. Two meager dimes. An old pocket knife. That's the best of it. So a nice guy that is. And I don't know if I can get back there in that hot spot again tomorrow or not. Imagine the Gray Matter Man to be there after his ticket today. I might have to change his name back if you get my drift. We'll have to see how that goes.